Hi, welcome to the Cutesy Shelf. My name is Diem, and today I wanted to share some Halloween projects that I've been working on. So I did get a chance to play with the Martha Stewart paper pad that I recently got off of Amazon, and uh, this is what it looks like. Now, it is an older paper pad, and I believe it came out in 2017, according to the info on the back of the uh, paper pad here, but um, I never seen it in stores and it is still available like online if you're interested and this is the SKU number just in case Okay, and the first thing that I made were shakers um, The pumpkin shaker that you see is made using a, a Digital cut file from the silhouette store and the cool thing about um, working with digital cut files is you're able to make them like any size you wish and um, I made this pumpkin shaker so that you can see it all the way through. And um, because it is like double-sided, I was able to use like another um, pattern paper on the other side just to give it another look. And also because like I couldn't decide <laughs> on what I wanted to use. And um, the images that you see are actually from an Etsy shop. And um, it's from the, I'm going to say this totally wrong, um, it's from the Karamphila shop, but I'll put a link to um, that shop in the description box below. And she sells like um, amazing digital files, like digital papers, as well as um, uh, clip art. Really beautiful. And um, the sequins that you see are the skull sequins are from AliExpress and there's also like some transparent ghosts in there. I don't know if you can see that well on camera, but um, they are in there. And um, like I wanted to give these a pop of color, so I did add those um, flower, like the holographic flower uh, sequins that I got from Michaels. And it is by the um, Recollections brand. This is what it looks like. Okay, and the um, next uh, shaker is this lantern shaker that I made using a die. And um, the sequins for, are from all over the place, including like these uh, bat and star sequins that I included in there. And then I added a bow on top because to make it cute. And I did finish it on the back as well. All I did was um, mirror the image so that I can, you know, put it on the back and when you look at it, you're not just looking at a plain sheet of paper. Okay, and then the next thing that I made are um, like shadow box ornaments. And this is how they turned out. I love working with um, this uh, shadow box die and um, the dies are from the Andy store which I'll put a link in the description box as well and um, I did like give it a finished look as well like this actually has like four layers so it's quite sturdy because I really like to do that with all my projects so that you know it feels more like quality well to me it does and um, again, I uh, printed and cut out those um, images from the digital collection. And I wanted them to have cute sayings. So this one says cute but psycho. And um, the bow was made using my Bodabra. And then in terms of um, embellishments, I didn't have much. Uh, so I like, of course, I made my own using the, um, you know, the, uh, digital clip art there and then I don't know if you can see this but um, it's got like the bat has this um, domed effect to it because I use my um, oh, my glossy accents there you go and um, I really like that look so I might do that with um, more of my projects now okay and that's the first shadow box that I made and um, here's the next one the baddest witch in town and I well for these like I wanted to give that Martha Stewart um, paper pad like a pop of color so I did um, use these fold cardstock papers that I got from Michaels and this one comes like in a like a pastel collection and I really love that um, the foil cardstock Here's another one. 
It says, I put a spell on you. And I love that spider, it's so cute. And again, like I finished the um, backs and they are ornaments because I want to um, like hang them on my Halloween tree. Oh, oh, the focus. Okay, that's better. And then here is the last one. It says Psycho Babe because we all know villains have more fun. And then I added stickles to parts of the image images so that they you know would have more interest and then before i finished these um shadow boxes i was already like thinking of something else to do so um i wanted to work with this um let me just show you it's a new um die that i got it's a nesting die set so pretty and this is also from the andy store and it's like quite large as you can see so I wanted to make a mini, mini album, like a shaped mini album. And this was my first time like making a uh, shaped mini album and this is what how it turned out. For the base, I used a 110 pound cardstock to make it sturdy. Um, this measures about like six inches by five inches. And um, I added this ruffle uh, trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then these are like some charms and tassels that I got off of um, AliExpress. And this is the back. And it's got like this um, like stitch look around the border. It's so pretty. Uh, and I did give mine like a ribbon closure. Okay. Oopsies. And then when you open it up, like on this side, I used a uh, spell Spellbinders uh, pocket die, and um, I like gave it another layer just to make it sturdy, and tucked this um, tag that I die cut out. On this side, I used a um, this doily that I got from Michaels. It's by uh, Recollections that I got like a couple years ago. And I also added some uh, of the uh, images that I fussy cut from the Martha Stewart paper pad. And um, the ghost was layered a couple times as well, like I added stickles. Oh, and then on this side here, there's a um, like side pocket. And then if you take it out, I made a memory dex card. Like with these side pockets, you're able to put um, ephemera or like, you know, pictures. But I wanted to do a memory dex that, and it was like perfect because it's got this tab that I can like pull out. So now I have like another memory dex um, card to add to my Rolodex. And then when you open this, on this side I have a um, tuck spot that I fussy cut out and um, this was another like cut apart from the Martha Stewart paper. And um, oh yeah, these um, pastel paper that you see is actually from the Pinkaboo uh, paper pad that I got. And um, this is what it looks like. I'll just show you quickly because I talk about it all the time. <laughs> and that came out, um, that was released at Michael's um, last year. And then over here, like I used another um, gold foil like doily that I got from Michaels. And again, it's the Recollections brand. I die cut out this um, spider web and um, like this flourish. This was um, a image from the Martha Stewart uh, cut apart sheet. And then over here, um, if you flip this up, I added more of the um, images that I cut out from the paper pad and then that boo uh, word that I die cut out in um, it's in black glitter cardstock and then I gave it a magnetic closure and then on this side I made this pocket um, using a border die and I believe it's from the Alina craft store, but I'll put a link in the description box below and um, I added these um, little die cut images 
and um, this is from the cut apart sheet as well and this as well and then there is one more um, side pocket here and I did make another like memory dex card isn't that cute and then um, let me just quickly show you the uh, Rolodex. So now I have like more um, memory dex cards. And then this is the other one that I made from before. That was my first one. And, you know, it's growing. My memory dex uh, card collection is growing. And like one day when I have lots, I can like flip through this. Yeah, so um, those are my project shares for today. And um, like every year around this time, like I always go out um, looking for, you know, Halloween stuff. And like, I'm like, what am I looking for? And I'm, you know, I'm always disappointed. So this year I thought I'd, you know, make my own things because, you know, that's what crafting is all about, right? Making your own happiness and creating your own happiness. So... I encourage you to, you know, create your own happiness. Thank you so much for watching today and um, I hope you'll join me in the next video. Bye!